Hi everyone, welcome to the Shuttleworth live demo, Feeding Wrappers and Case Packers Smarter with Shuttleworth Smart Feeds. I'm Austin Roberts, Regional Sales Manager for Shuttleworth. I cover Illinois, Missouri, Western Indiana, and Western Kentucky. So for this live demo, we'll go through a brief history of Shuttleworth. We'll go over what exactly is slip torque, discuss some benefits of Shuttleworth Smart Feeds, and then we'll have some demonstrations on our four most popular type of smart feeds, and then we'll wrap everything up. So Shuttleworth has three locations. Our main headquarters is in Huntington, Indiana, where we have full manufacturing, sales, and service. We're also in Belgium that covers our European pro projects. So we have full manufacturing, sales, and service there as well. And then we have sales and service in Malaysia. So Shuttleworth was founded by Jim Shuttleworth back in 1962. Over the years, he then developed and patented our slip torque technology in the early 1970s. This still is what we produce most of today. We then joined Promoc back in 2011. So Promoc is the parent company to over 30 manufacturing companies along a packaging line. So it varies anywhere from beginning of line to end of line and can all be integrated together for one full turnkey solution. So what exactly is slip torque? Slip torque was invented to reduce line pressure and provide gentle handling of products. So how it works, there is a positive driven <clears throat> polished stainless steel shaft. So there's a sprocket on the end of this shaft that drives a chain which drives that shaft. Then we have segmented rollers that are loose fit onto the shaft. The friction between the shaft and the roller is what causes the drive of the product on the surface. So when you actually place your hand on the surface while the conveyor is running, the rollers will stop under your hand. So Shuttleworth Smart Feeds. They utilize our slip torque roller surface to provide low back pressure accumulation of products prior to feeding a downstream wrapper or case packer. So it gently free feeds product without crushing it while it's accumulated with the low back pressure. And because the rollers stop under the product while it is accumulated, it limits the amount of marring or damage to the package. This allows for consistent and even feeding downstream. So we have a variety of different smart feed designs and configurations for different environments and applications, which we'll dive into next. We have our gated smart feed, our high speed gated smart feed, the multi packer, and the servo smart feed. The gated smart feed. This is one of the Shuttleworth's most popular smart feeds. It uses a pneumatic product stop to synchronize the release of products downstream into a flighted end feed of a wrapper or case packer. So this blade stop can be replaced with pin stops, an overhead stop, side stop, just kind of whatever works best with the product. So this uses a combination of accumulation, speed change, and blade stop to create a smooth and jam-free transition into the downstream equipment. The way this smart feed works is the products will accumulate behind the blade stop. Once accumulated, the blade stop will lower into the surface and a speed change will pull a gap between the first product on the blade stop and all the others. This sends just one product downstream into the flighted or lugged end feed. Once the sensor sees that gap in the products, it will rise the stop back in the surface so just one product is released downstream. And then this process is repeated over and over to achieve the desired result. This smart feed operates at a rate of about 20 to 80 parts per minute. We can actually option a lug opening to where the wrapper or case packer lugged in feed actually integrates into the Shuttleworth surface to provide a smooth, seamless transition downstream. This is available in washdown and non washdown designs. Let's go take a look at the gated smart feed in action. Here's our standard pneumatic gated smart feed. This pneumatic gate can send products at up to 60 products per minute into a lugged or belted end feed with a consistent gap. Many different styles of blade stop can be used based on the product. For example, pin stops can be used for round products or the blade stop can be in surface as shown, overhead or from the side. Once products are accumulated behind the blade stop, 
it will lower and send a product downstream. Positive drive rollers ensure that the product does not stall at the blade stop. We do this by using press fit rollers or spring loaded rollers as shown here. A speed change in our surface creates a gap between the products, allowing the stop to rise, limiting the product sent downstream to just one. A sensor is placed at the stop to determine when the area is clear so that the stop does not rise under another product. The gated smart feed works best when multiple products are accumulated at the stop to provide a consistent flow downstream. This is similar in style to the inline gated smart feed, but this feeds at a right angle. This smart feed is best suited for when the product orientation needs changed prior to the downstream and space is limited on the line. Shutterworth uses timing or an encoder mounted onto the lugged in feed to determine when to send the product into the lug. The speed change makes sure that the product travels over the dead plate into the lug opening. As you can see also in this video, we use high grip rollers to ensure that the product makes it over the dead plate. All right, similar to the gated smart feed, this is our high speed gated smart feed. So this actually uses a servo or electric actuated blade stop to synchronize the products downstream instead of the pneumatic. You still get that same smooth transition to the wrapper or packing equipment downstream that you would with a gated as well. This, however, goes up to 150 products per minute. So this is also available in washdown and non-washdown designs. So as you can see in the picture, for any of these smart feeds, we can add easily adjustable guides for easy product changeover. All you have to do is loosen and either tighten or widen the guides, whether you have a more narrow or a wider product. Now let's go see some applications in which we use a high-speed gated smart feed. This is the new high-speed gated smart feed from Shuttleworth. This uses a servo actuated blade stop, which runs products from 80 up to 150 products per minute. This system takes accumulated products and sends them downstream evenly spaced. Our surface is capable of providing a lug opening for the downstream lugged end feed. This unique design allows us to make sure products reach the lug opening and don't stall prior to reaching the lug. A speed change at the servo blade stop creates the necessary gap for downstream equipment. The overhead sensor detects a gap between products so that the blade stop knows when to rise again. Quick adjustable guides and a recipe change on the HMI allow for different types of product sizes and types to be run on this system. Anything from food to consumer products and much more. Now we go into our very flexible multi-packer smart feed. So this allows for a variety of pack patterns to be released downstream from multiple lanes. So these adjustable guides allow for multiple size products to run on the system. So you can actually, shown here there's two lanes. We could have three, four, five lanes and you can either compress or widen these guides and expand on them to go from two lanes to three lanes to four lanes all on the same system without removing any of these guide rails. The overhead adjustable brake can also be moved north or south along the line to determine how many products are released downstream when the stop lowers. So whether your downstream equipment needs 2x3 pattern, 3x6 pattern, this flexible machine can cover everything that you need. Now let's go watch this multi-packer smart feed. This Shuttleworth multi-pack sends two products into the same lug or flight to feed a cartoner, case packer, or labeler. The accumulated products reach a speed up section that sends two food trays into the same flight. This multi-packer does not use any stops or brakes to achieve this, only a speed change and a consistent flow of product. Here we see a single lane of products accumulating up to a product stop. An overhead brake holds back all of the products besides the front two. The overhead brake is there to ensure that two products are released back to back. The stop will lower to send two products forward. The cycle then repeats itself. Once the two products have moved forward, a card is inserted on top of both boxes prior to entering the downstream equipment. Now we go on to our no device servo smart feed. This seamlessly feeds packaging equipment without the use of any devices. So the servo controlled conveyor surface synchronizes with the packaging machine to precisely and consistently feed the lug or the flight. The use of an HMI allows you to easily change between product sizes on the same system with just a push of a button. 
This is available in washdown and non-washdown designs like all the other smart feeds. This can be done using our slip torque surface or a belted surface. So if you use a belted surface, we use multiple zones to ensure that that gap is hit. And only one product will be on each belt at a time to ensure that only one product enters the lug. So you can have single lane and multi-lane configurations with a servo smart feed. If we use multi-lane, each lane has its own servo gear motor and acts independently from the other lanes. This way it ensures that whether the products are coming in even or uneven, they will discharge evenly and at the same time. Now let's go watch the servo smart feed in the field. This servo smart feed does not use any blade stops or escapements to feed products into the lug. The servo motor controls our roller surface to decrease or increase speed to place the products into the lug opening. This can be done by using continuous motion of the products or bringing them to a stop prior to feeding as shown in the video. Shuttleworth will work with a lugged end feed provider to place an encoder on the end feed to ensure products precisely hit the lugs. Shuttleworth also uses a belted servo smart feed for certain products. This works in a similar manner except the servo motors control the belt surface to feed the lug opening. Products will accumulate on the slip torque surface prior to reaching the belts. This split belt design allows the lug to come up between the belts to make sure that the products smoothly transitions onto the downstream lugged conveyor. For this solution, we also provide a false deck above the lugged end feed to place a corrugate sheet underneath the product. Recipes can be placed on the HMI for different product sizes. The servo belts will adjust for different product sizes, making it adaptable. This three lane smart feed uses a servo motor to control each lane separately. By controlling each lane separately, it allows the system to send all of the lanes into the flatted conveyor at the same time. The accumulated products cross a speed change to create a gap prior to reaching the servo zone. The independent servo zones will align the products in each lane to send the products evenly into the flatted conveyor. This multi-lane servo smart feed can also be used as a multi-pack. For many other Shuttleworth solutions, head on over to our YouTube page or our website at shuttleworth.com.